Good morning, students. Today we are going to start the first chapter of your textbook Hornbill. Your first textbook is Hornbill, and the second is Snapshot. Today we are going to start the first chapter of your Hornbill book, and the title is The Portrait of a Lady. The Portrait of a Lady, written by Kushwan Singh. Written by Kushwan Singh. Here, what is the meaning of portrait? Portrait means a handmade painting. A handmade painting is known as a portrait, or we can say a word picture. A word picture that is known as a portrait. Written by Kushwan Singh. Everyone knows about Kushwan Singh. He is Indian writer, and uh, he has written another novel also, Train to Pakistan. And second, here the title, The Portrait of a Lady, has been taken from his famous book. Mark of Vishnu and other stories. That title. The part of this chapter, it means the title, the portrait of a lady, has been extracted from his book, Mark of Vishnu and other stories. Here in this chapter, Krishna Singh is talking about his granny. We will study what kind of relation relationship did Krishna Singh and his granny have. It means when they were living in the village, when they shifted to city. In third stage also, when Kishore Singh, the author, started going to university, here we will see a great bond between Kishore Singh and his granny. See what kind of relation was there between them, and how did they feel whenever they had great friendship also? And after some time, when their friendship was broken, their friendship was snapped. We will study everything in this chapter. Now we are studying chapter. The portrait of Elodie. I have told you what is portrait? Handmade picture. Kushal Singh. This chapter is the autobiography of Kushal Singh. My grandmother, like everybody's grandmother, was an old woman. Kushal Singh is saying that my granny, like everyone's granny, she was very old woman. She had been old and wrinkled. She had been very old and wrinkled, having wrinkles on her face for the last twenty years that I had known her. It means for the last twenty years, he knew his granny, and she was in the same stage. It means there were wrinkles on her faces. People said that she had once been young and pretty. Pretty means attractive or beautiful. Kushal Singh says that it is uh, said by the people that once my granny was young and pretty, she was attractive, but and had had a husband also. But that was hard to believe. It was hard to believe. Why does Kushal Singh, the author, says that it was hard to believe that his granny was young, once young and pretty, because according to our present age. There are wrinkles on her faces. It doesn't seem that she would be or she was beautiful in her young age because of present time, because of wrinkles on her faces. But that was hard to believe. In your exam discussion, can be asked what was hard to believe for the author. Your answer will be it was hard to believe for the author that her that his granny was young. Was once young and pretty, and had a husband. Now, Kushal Singh is talking about his grandfather, Grandpa. My grandfather's portrait hung above the mantelpiece. He is saying that my grandfather's portrait is hanging over mantelpiece. What is mantelpiece? Shelf over the fireplace. Shelf over the fireplace in drawing room. He wrote. He wore a big turban. He had put on a big turban. And uh, loose fitting clothes. His long white beard. He had a long white beard. Chest covered the best part of his chest. This line shows that Kushal Singh's grandfather had a long beard, which covered the most of the part of his chest. And he looked at least a hundred years old. And it looked like as if he is hundred years old. He did not look the sort of person, the type of person who would have a wife or children. He didn't look like a person who have a Only a wife and some children. He looked as if he could have only lots and lots of grandchildren. He looked as if he had lots and lots of grandchildren because of his old age and his beard also that covered the best part of his chest, that covered the almost part of his chest. Now, Kushal Singh again talking about his granny. As for as for my grandmother being young and pretty, the thought was always revolting. What is revolting? Disgusting. Or we can say foolish. This thought was always almost disgusting or foolish. She often told us of the games she used to play as a child. It's right. So here we can see what it used to. 
used to is used in past habits. But if you make a difference between used to and good, these both model models, the right position models, can be used in past habits. But do you know what is one difference in good model? The past habits, habits or actions are repeated. Are repeated again, again. If you are asked a difference between used to and more good, your answer will be used to is used for past habits, past actions, and good model is also used for past habits or past actions. But those actions will be repeated again and again in past. That is the major difference. She often told us of the game she used to play as a child. Kishor Singh said that. My lady used to tell me her childhood games. They seem quite absurd. What is absurd? Illogical. Illogical and undignified. What is undignified? Without any respect. On her part, and we treated it like the fables. What is the meaning of fables? The stories which have great moral. The stories which have great morals of the prophets. And what is the meaning of prophets? Messenger of God. Messenger of God. She used to tell us. She had always been short and now Kishor Singh is telling the physical appearance of his granny. She had always been short. She was short and fat, fat also and slightly bent. She was bent down, stooped. Her face was a crisscross of wrinkles. What is crisscross? Great lines. There were great lines of wrinkles on her face. What is crisscross? Having great lines, running from everywhere to everywhere. No, we were certain, we were sure that she had always been as we had known her old, so terribly old, so terribly old that she could not have grown older. Kishwar Singh said that she could not get older than it her present age and has stayed at the same age for the 20, last 20 years and she had been in the same stage for the last 20 years. It is very strange thing that for the last 20 years she is in the same stage. She could never have been pretty and Kishwar Singh thinks that she can never be pretty but she was always beautiful. Her heart was very beautiful. She hobbled. What is hobbled? Walk lamely. Walk lamely. She used to walk lamely about the house in spotless white. Spotless white means, do you know she used to put on white clothes and without any spot, without any blot, with one hand resting on her waist to balance her stoop, stoop is body. How did she walk? She used to walk this way. Her one hand was on her waist to balance her stoop, to balance her body. And the other was busy in telling the beads of rosary. Do you know she was busy in two beads of rosary? Do you know rosary beads? Jo mala hoti hai, moti hoti? Unko firane mein vest ho. She was busy with the beads of rosary. Her silver locks, silver locks means her white hair. Her white hair, her silver locks were scattered, they were spread, untidy. Untidy means like a uncombed. Over her pale, pale means yellowish, puckered face. What is puckered? Wrinkled face. And her lips constantly, continuously moved in inaudible prayer. What is inaudible? That cannot be heard. Kishwar Singh says that she was always, she tried, she tried to keep herself busy with the prayer of God. It means she didn't have time to talk with someone else. Yes, she was beautiful. She was like the winter landscape in the mountains. Wow, what a great question here. Students, this is seriously most important question. Here, we can see like, like or as, wherever you find like or as words, like or as. This is the example of simile. Everyone knows about this simile. Here, Kushal Singh's granny, she has been compared like the landscape in the mountains, the scene of mountains in the winters. Do you know in winters what happens with mountains? What happens or what kind of scene can be seen on mountains during winter? It means she was the symbol of or we can say you can be a discussion. What do you mean by she was like the winter landscape in mountains? You will write she was the symbol of containment it means satisfaction, divinity, 
innocence and purity along with calmness also she it means kushal singh grani has been compared to landscape the scenes landscapes or mountains during winter because she was a symbol of contentment satisfaction divinity innocence and purity okay along with calmness also it means she was calm she was contented with her life she was satisfied with her life she was like divine she was innocent and she was pure it means the scene the sight which can be seen on the landscapes like on the mountains the winter landscapes the winter scene during sorry the winter scenes of mountains during winter do you know in winter how do mountains look they look so beautiful there is great calmness tranquility they look so pure they look so white because of do you know snowfall they look so white that's why others say she has been compared with winter's landscape in the mountains because she was a symbol of contentment satisfaction divinity innocence and purity along with calmness it means tranquility an expense an spreadness of pure white serenity what is serenity serenity means calmness silence breathe in peace and contentment contentment means satisfaction it means she was satisfied she was contented with her life my granny and i were good friends my parents left me with her when they went to live in the city and we were constantly it was continuously together she used to wake me up in the morning kushal singh is saying that i was living with my granny in the village and my parents they were in the city how did author's granny used to help him in his childhood she used to wake me up in the morning and get me ready for the school she said in her morning prayer in a monotonous singer song what is monotonous boring huh? boring that is not interesting interesting why she bathed me and dressed me in the hope that i would listen and get to know it by heart but she also said that when ever my granny used to get me ready for school she used to sing her morning prayer in monotonous sound of voice that was so boring it was so jarring for me and she thought that i will try to listen it with heart and i will try to learn it also i listened i listened because i loved her voice but never bothered it means disturbed or troubled to learn it i never tried to learn it i never took any trouble to learn it then she would fetch fetch this bring then she will bring my wooden sled which she had already washed and plastered with yellow chalk after getting ready or getting ready for the school she would bring a sled which was already plastered with yellow chalk and then what did she do a tiny a small earthen ink pot she used to carry earthen ink pot and a red pen and then tie them all in a bundle and hand it to me she used to give it to me after breakfast of thick stale chapati what is stale not fresh that is not fresh with a little butter and sugar spread on it we went to school and she carried several chapatis with for, with her for village dogs students how did granny help kushal singh she used to get him ready for the school after bathing after taking a bath she would carry she would bring or she would fetch a sled which was already plastered with yellow chalk with a tiny other ink pot and a red pen and she and she used to tie them in a bundle what kind of breakfast was given to author the author was given a breakfast of thick stale stale means not fresh opposite of fresh he was given the breakfast of thick stale chapati and they they used to go to school and granny she used to take a number of or many chapatis with her for village sick dogs next part students my granny always went to school with me because the school was attached to temple granny used to go to school with the author because the school was attached or connected to temple the priest taught us the alphabets and morning prayer while the children sat in rows in either side of the veranda in both of the side of the veranda singing the alphabet or the prayer in chorus or chorus chorus what is chorus in a group group singing next my grandmother said inside reading the scriptures what is the scriptures holy books or religious books 
Here we can write scriptures. A scripture. What is the meaning of scripture? We can say holy book or religious books. A scriptures. Religious books. Do you know why did Jenny go to school? Because the school was connected, attached to a temple. When the students were taught alphabets by the priest, she read their scriptures. It means holy books or religious books. When we both had finished, we would walk back together. This time the village dogs would meet us at the temple door. The right position, not door. Door. D O O R. Temple door. Door. The correct symbol is D. Door. Door. R is silent according to British English because R is the ending letter of the word. Verb. The right position, door. Door. Next. They followed us to our home, growling. It means growling, making different terrible noises and fighting with each other for the chapatis we threw to them. When my parents were comfortably settled in the city, Kushwar Singh saying that my, when my parents settled in the city, they sent for us. That was a turning point in my friendship. Most important question: What was turning point in their friendship? It means in the friendship of Kushwar Singh and Granny. Your answer will be when Kushwar Singh's parents, the, when the author's parents. were settled in the city comfortably they sent for them in the city to live with them it was turning point in their friendship most important question for exam although we shared the same room my grandmother no longer came to school with me i used to go to an english school in a motor bus there were no dogs in the street and she took to feeding the sparrows in the city there were no dogs that's why granny used to spend her time feeding the sparrows in courtyard of the our city as the years rolled by what is rolled by passed by We sold less of each other. For some time, she continued to wake me up and get me ready for the school. When I came back, she would ask me what the teacher had taught me. I would tell her English words and little things of one more important question. Do you know after reaching that city, they were living in the same room, but Arthur's granny was not able to help him in his study because he was going to school in a water bus and English school also, and she didn't know any single word of English. When the author came from his school. Granny used to ask him what was taught to him in English school. He used to tell what kind of topics, Western little things of Western science and learning, the law of gravity, Archimedes principle, the world being round, etc. Most important question: What was taught to author in English school? Your answer will be: The author was taught little things of science and Western science and learning, the law of gravity, Archimedes principles, the world being round, etc. This made her unhappy, and knowing that after hearing this, she got unhappy. She could not help me with my lessons. She did not believe in the things they taught us at the English school, and was distressed. Distress means very upset. She was very upset that there was no teaching about God in the scriptures. Most important question: Why was Granny upset, or why was Granny distressed? Your answer will be: The Granny was distressed because in city school, in English school. There was no study for God and scriptures. She was very disturbed to her. Okay, students, the remaining part will be completed tomorrow. Till then, thank you.